Well, that's your latest update for the expected and ongoing uh, winter weather across much of the area. We're going to start mornings, winter weather advisories. The ones out west we haven't changed very much. This was issued yesterday afternoon across the Big Horn Basin. Some of these could be canceled early, I think, though, as uh, the snow comes to an end across this area. Big change this morning. We issued one for Casper as well. That goes through 5 p.m. this evening. You want to start end times and the others? Let's go to our website right there, weather.gov slash RW. Now, as we tie out the impacts, general rule of thumb is the snow's going to be ending from north to south. Now, those of you across the central southern portions of the state, hasn't really started when I record this about 5, 5.30 this morning. The snow will be coming in during the day. It's time out the maximum impact here, heaviest snow. Northern areas of the state, but generally the morning hours around midday across central portions of the state. And southern portions of the state, mainly in afternoon for that maximum impact. Now, the good news is, though, is just read through this, look at where your city is. It's after about 9 o'clock. You can kiss the snow goodbye. Looks like we'll have a dry day coming in as we head towards Saturday. Now, a chance of seeing two inches or more. Very good chance here across the western mountains, just about 100% there. Anywhere from about a 60 to 80% chance here across the western valleys. Now, as we had areas that didn't see much snow yet, about one in three across Sweetwater County, best chance of seeing there. Probably Rock Springs out to the east. Across uh, the central portions of the state, advisory in Dubois, 85% there. About 40 to 50 across much of central Wyoming. Higher chance around Casper is why we issued the advisory. 54 around Thermopolis, but further north, Heavy snow is going to be moving out of here, so much less of a chance of seeing that. We bumped that to four inches. Only chance of seeing that probably east of the divide, places like Dubois, also around Casper, unless something really unusual happens. Best chance of seeing that, obviously, across the mountains, 100% chance of seeing that. Anywhere from about a 20 to 40% chance of four additional inches across the western valleys. More probabilistic stuff, at least this much snow. This will be the low end we get. This week from 5 a.m. this morning through the end of the storm. And according to an inch, probably the least, the least we'll get across this area, maybe an inch around Casper, two inches around Dubois, one to two inches across the western valley. So this might be lower around Jackson. I'm pretty sure they've had an inch already in just an hour there. So this has already exceeded that. Now as we head toward the likely maximum now, here we go. Need new batteries for this thing. Anyway, yeah, one to two inches across the northern portions of the state, getting a little bit greater as we head further south. Central portions of the state, anywhere I'd say from about two to five inches across this area. If some snow banding sets up, you get the maximum amount. About one to three across southern portions of the area. Four to six across the western valleys. Highest amounts, obviously Teton, Salt and Wyoming Range. Maybe locally 10, maybe 18 additional inches on top of those peaks if the snow persists. But the most likely scenario we're going to get out of this, western valleys about three to five inches, I'd say maybe locally up to six. That might be a little bit low there. Southern portions of the state, about two to three around Pinedale, about an inch across this area. This is going to be showery here. We could see some snow squalls down here as well that may enhance rates just a little bit down here. So traveling I-80 this afternoon, just make sure you watch out for that. Four to six around Dua Bois, anywhere from two to four inches across this area. Most around Casper, probably the least around Riverton. Two to three additional inches around uh, Thermopolis. And anywhere from a coating to one to two inches across northern portions of the area. Here's our resources. You want weather, you know where to go. Weather.gov slash RAW. Road conditions, again, don't call us for road conditions. Go to these spots. Wildroad.info if you want to go on the web. I'm going to call them on the phone. Do it the old-fashioned way. 511 in-state, 180-day wild road out-of-state. Well, look at those webcams for yourself. It's a great resource to see what's going on. Just go to our uh, homepage. Go to local programs. Click on our webcams tab. Be safe, everybody. And enjoy your day.